You mentioned France briefly. Um, you, you know, it's a huge economy within the Eurozone. It's more relevant than any of the paid countries. Um, and it has a very difficult fiscal situation. Um, and, and politicians there have been pretty reticent to really address some of the structural reforms they need to. Um, you know, what do you think is going to take place in France for the next five years? How do you think the situation in France is going to affect the Eurozone? Do you think there's a greater risk because it is yeah. a larger economy? Than dealing with an economy like Greece, which at the end of the day is just a very small portion of the overall European yeah. economy. I mean, I, I think that that France, if I if I'm as you can hear, I'm I'm basically pretty bullish on on the on the continent. But the one the biggest medium term uh, threat I see is France, uh, and the reason is that. Uh, if you believe, like I do, that uh, ultimately uh, uh, the euro area will stick together, you are in a situation where the countries in the periphery are being put through the meat grinder. You know, it's not pretty. I'm not endorsing 25% unemployment rates in Spain or other uh, uh, countries. But the, they are, you have now had the first meaningful uh, labor market reform in Spain since uh, the Franco era, right, as a result of this crisis. Otherwise, it wouldn't have happened. Uh, the same is basically true on, uh, uh, certainly true in Greece. Uh, it's true in Portugal. It's true in Italy. Uh, where it is not true, and uh, uh, fundamentally, I would argue still, uh, and certainly if we think about what the world looks like two years from now, uh, the uh, to date, if the status quo continues, France will be the most unreformed economy and most uncompetitive economy in Europe. Um, and I think the real issue is, uh, will Hollande turn out to be more like, uh, say, a François Mitterrand, or will he be more like a Gerhard Schröder? Meaning, will he actually have the political will to take on parts of his own constituents in France uh, 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 to restore French competitiveness and, uh, 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 related to that, uh, the French fiscal uh, uh, outlook, which, as you say, is not exactly great? Uh, uh, that is really the question. Uh, I mean, I think you so far you can uh, act, uh, you can argue it both ways. I mean, this is a guy who, <laughs> you know, I mean, he's a great uh, uh, political uh, chameleon, right? He ran on being the great Keynesian. He had to end austerity uh, and focus on growth. Uh, what he also did was that he announced the uh, audited by the French uh, Court of Auditors of the French uh, 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 fiscal situation to be published immediately after uh, the uh, parliamentary elections in June. Lo and behold, that audit showed that all this talk about stimulus, you know what, that didn't really work so well. So he has implemented austerity. Uh, you know, uh, uh, 30 billion euros in cuts uh, in, the, in his new budget, despite running on the opposite. So it's not a guy who, you know, is, is particularly attached to keeping his election promises. Uh, he has now tasked uh, or told the, the, the labor uh, uh, unions and the social partners in France that you got until the end of the year to come up with uh, a deal that will help restore French competitiveness. Will they be able to do so? I strongly doubt it. Um, so early next year, we will see whether or not he's willing to take on his own uh, constituents and force through uh, a serious structural reform of France. Uh, because if he's not, well, then, as I said, gradually in the medium term, France will look, uh, the situation in France will deteriorate. Uh, and at some point, markets are going to be responding to that. Uh, but as you said, the problem is that the, Fra the France is obviously much, much, it's a bigger economy and it's much closer integrated with the euro area core. So the vol market volatility associated with that scenario will be quite violent, uh, in my opinion, and probably uh, uh, will need to be quite violent in order to get the French uh, political classes to get uh, the picture. Uh, uh, 
so, so no, I mean, the biggest, uh, I think the biggest uh, question mark is, is France.